right, put it in the park. Good. Travis and I are now out at my place. Last night we went ahead and put up red gate, the red gates down here in the barnyard so that we can handle the cattle that we are going to be selling today. So we are going to be selling dad's steers in the pole shed and about five of mine as well. Um, I have three steers and two heifers that I want to sell. One is Ruby, wizard was what I named her, and she had a foot problem, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and sell her off uh, just because I'm worried about her being able to make it through the winter. Uh, I feel like she's doing healthy enough now, but long term, I could see her having issues, and um, I just think it would be wiser to just get the money back out of her right away because that way, even if she dies in two years I mean then we still wasted all that feed because we didn't really gain much a little more good so we're gonna start off by sorting off a few of dad's cattle and then we're just gonna run them in here load them in and we're gonna take them to the Bloomington Livestock Exchange which I was deliberating deliberating on taking mine to the uh, world auctioneer championship I think it is it's going on but uh, we just decided it'd be easier just to take them down now, so. I got some spray up in the... Probably not, it's over That's gonna, They're gonna be an issue at some point today. Oh, of course the spiders is representing. There's a nice spider web right here. Oh, that's gotta hurt. That's why we that's why we put guardrail on there. I say what we do though, get these guys loaded before we clean our boots off. Let's come back up and try sorting out a couple more and then leave them down here to chill out. Mm -hmm. me here. Oh, of course.
on, dude. Go for a ride. That's two loads. This load is going to be uh, at least some of mine, if not all of them, if we can get them on. All right, we got all of my cows loaded. Um, we got the red Angus, one of mine. We also got the number four and five. She was kind of crazy a little bit. Uh, we kind of got that hint from her, so we just decided to sell her as well. Uh, mostly just because I don't really like to keep, you know, higher octane cattle around because I like I like to be able to walk up to my calves without no, or and know that they're not gonna completely railroad me. So. Um, we just decided that we better get rid of her. I'm still adding six more heifers this year, which is pretty good. It's the most I've ever added yet, which is good because um, I'm holding back as many heifers as I can. So we are down here at Travis's place right now. There's nothing in the back of the trailer. We are going to take the four wheelers back and go get two of Travis's calves that are down here. Back to Bloomington. Good. those ones up front alone shift the trailer. Yeah. We we'll back in about an hour. Alright. Alright, last group.
Well, uh, we just dropped in to see what Dad's doing. He is currently VTing up here, across the road actually. And um, he's gonna wrap this up and we're gonna pick him up, take him home, and I'm probably gonna end up finishing VTing tomorrow um, on Dad's last farm. Then we will start planting tomorrow and hopefully get done with beans as well. So we can call planning 18 2018 to a close um, today was just a long day but I am going to wait for my checks to come in for my calves and I'll be sure to tell you guys what they went for uh, when the check comes in which that'll be on Monday and um, which is in a few days but as soon as I get them in I'll be sure to record it and show you guys what they went for because I'm not really worried about uh, showing what my ca my cattle sell for. So anyway, I'll see you guys in a few days. Hey everybody, uh, don't mind my inquisitive look with the glasses. Uh, I didn't put my contacts in this morning, but I just received my check from the Bloomington Livestock Exchange for selling my steers and those two heifers. So I'm gonna crack it open and see how I feel about it. <laughs> Not totally sure whether I'm gonna be uh, crazy about it. Uh, I'm not, I have no idea what they could have sold for. I did look it up online and I mean, the values on there for the weights that they were, were saying they sold between anywhere between 150 and 180. And we're about to find out. I am very happy with what they sold for. Um, it beat out my expectations. I was hoping for, I, I like to be a little bit reserved as far as my guesses. Um, I, I was expecting around 4,000. You know, for five cattle, uh, when you're selling them, you know, you expect them for, to go, depending on the quality of them, around 800 bucks a piece. And the amount that they sold for, all five together, was $5,077.56. That's pretty good, uh, at least for me. So it looks like they went to three different buyers. Uh, we got two of them sold. One of the heifers and one of the steers went to the same buyer. Okay, that's kind of weird. There, two, two buyers bought a heifer and a steer, and then the third steer went to another buyer. And the, wow. Um, one of the steers went for 146. Ooh, they were a little bit heavier than what, what I expected. So the average weight across them all, um, total weight was 4,550 pounds. Okay, uh, I, I didn't expect that two of them were over a thousand. Um, one of the steers was 1,100 pounds. One of the heifers was 1,100. That was the number four to five. She was a bit crazy. Um, the one steer was 595. Anyway, I'm still pretty happy. Um, the 146 was the one steer who was uh, 600 pounds, obviously. Uh, at, a, at a lighter weight, they typically sell for more. Uh, as they increase in weight, their price per pound reduces as well. So um, overall, I'm pretty happy. Um, they actually sold for $5,227, but there was $5 for the beef promo that I paid. Vet inspection was $2.25. Commission was $131.64. Yardage and feed was $5, and insurance was $5. And when that resulted in a final tally of $5,077. So I'm pretty happy. Um, I mean, I still have those uh, six other heifers. If I need to sell them, I will, um, especially with the way that things are going on YouTube. I will probably look into selling a few more of my heifers, which is why I did sell those uh, those two, is because, you know, I did need the cash just because uh, with the way that things have been going on YouTube, I don't have quite a bit of as much of a buffer. So to kind of compensate selling more cattle, um, but I like to keep back my heifers just because I like to grow my herd. Well, it's time to announce this week's winner of the giveaway. So last Sunday, I informed our viewers that everybody that commented on that video would be put in a drawing to win a How Farms Work t-shirt. And the winner of last week's giveaway was Joe Scanlon. He said, I love using auto steer when we were out farming. The one part that bothers me is that grandpa always said when planting, you will always get more out of a crooked row than a straight one. I really wonder if that holds true. I really wonder if that holds true. Honestly, our grandpa used to say the exact same thing. Um, is it really true? Uh, who really knows? <laughs> uh, 
Uh, all I know is that auto steer really does help you get straight, precise rows and uh, really eliminates all those zigzags. So the way that I'd set this giveaway up was that I took all of the comments from that video uh, from just a few moments ago, actually, and I waited until basically everybody had a chance to comment. And I took all of the comments. I removed the double, sub double comments, so there weren't any more than one submission per person. And then I typed in a random number generator, and then I typed, and then I counted down from the top of the comment section, and I omitted all of my comments as well. So then the number that was chosen was the winner. And the good news is, is that if you didn't win this week, you also have a chance to win next week. I am going to be giving away a How Farms Work hat next week, which coincidentally I'm not wearing right now. Um, I threw on a hat just because the, the Nats has been so crazy lately. They drive you nuts. But um, yeah, if you are interested in winning a How Farms Work hat next week, be sure to leave a comment down in the comment, se comment section of this video. Tell me what you thought. Tell me if you hated the video. Tell me whatever. As long as you comment, doesn't matter what you say, uh, as long as it doesn't get held by YouTube's uh, flagging system, uh, i.e. if it's not spam, uh, it will get counted towards a submission. So uh, with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out all of our other ones. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, all how farms work. Generally on Snapchat, you will get a chance to stay up more up to date. Uh, what I was trying to do on YouTube for a while was try to, you know, actually keep up with Travis as far as his videos go. But what I realized is that I really can't keep up with Travis because there's so much more that goes into a how farms work video. Uh, I do like to, you know, throw extra things like this in where I can do giveaways. And all that extra pr production time just, I mean, I need to have that time to make sure that it's a smooth video. For a while there, I was just kind of throwing the videos together, and that's really not the How Farms Work way, in my opinion. So uh, from now on, I plan to kind of just be putting my videos into a queue. If I feel like, you know, I'm getting a little bit too far behind, I will release my videos so that we are relatively up to date. But, I mean, I was trying to make a video and then post it the next day, and that was just so unreasonable for so many reasons. Um, how Farms Work has become what it is is because, you know, I did take the time and put care into making the videos. I know that a lot of people do care that, you know, the videos are up to date. I will still do the best that I can. Um, it's just that, you know, I do have to have that little bit of extra production time. So, with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.